This video is designed to introduce you to the RTAC software. The RTAC software helps review spectra that you've collected with the S1PXRF software, and it also allows you to organize the spectra into projects, which further facilitates review and comparison. You can launch the Bruker RTAC software by double-clicking on the software icon. The software will ask you for a username and password. Leave the username as administrator and leave the password field empty. Click OK to proceed. You will receive two error messages. Click OK on both of them. As the software launches, you will see the main spectrum window. You can open .pdz files, which is the native format of spectra collected with the S1PXRF software, with the RTAC software. You can go to File and Open Spectrum, or you can press Control o You can find your spectra in the folder where you have saved them before. You can see the .pdz files. You can open spectra one at a time by clicking on them and clicking open. Or you can open multiple spectra at a time. I'm going to press Control o select one, press the Shift key, and select a bunch of others. Or you can select one spectrum, press hold down the Control key, and select a number of others as you like and then open them. I'm going to cancel this operation right now. The spectrum opened in the window is red. You can change spectrum colors by clicking on this little square and selecting a color that suits you better. The name of the spectrum is displayed here. If you have multiple spectra, you can select them uh, by pressing on this little arrow and bringing up a pop-up window. To view spectra, you can increase their height by clicking and holding on the y-axis and moving it up and down. You can pan along the x-axis by clicking and holding and moving it. You can place the cursor at a point in the spectrum by clicking. You can see the cursor moving as I click at different locations. If you hold down the control key, click and drag away from the cursor or toward it, you can expand and contract the scale of the spectrum. If you've gotten lost, you can always double click in the center of the window and it will rescale the spectrum back to its original size. I'm going to expand the scale of the spectrum now and show you how to label the elements. The elements can be labeled using the periodic table of elements right here. You can check whether you would like to label and see the K, L, and M series lines. This applies to every element. You can select an element to show where it would be by clicking on it and deselecting by unclicking. You can also dynamically move your cursor by clicking and moving your mouse within a spectrum and if you move your cursor onto a peak, the periodic table of element, elements will list potential elements that it can be. And you can click on that element and see if the K alpha and the K beta lines are both present. You can see that the software has also labeled the L line for zinc. I can remove that by unchecking the L line series.
I'm going to quickly label all the elements in this spectrum. This is an aluminum peak. We have silicon. We have calcium. Iron. Copper. And zinc. We possibly also have some arsenic. You can also see the rhodium L lines, which is which are coming from our excitation source. The rhodium K lines positions are displayed, but the K lines are not present in the spectrum. Once you've labeled the elements, you can go ahead and save the spectrum. in as a .spx file, which is the native format for the RTAC software. If you save it this way, then it will retain the elements that you have identified. So find the folder into which you'd like to save it. And click Save. You can easily compare spectra by overlaying them. In order to do this, you need to open the other spectrum. Click Control O to open. The other spectrum will be displayed with a different color. Can compare these two spectra. You can increase the scale. You can shrink or expand along a cursor. You can select which spectrum is active by choosing here. You can choose whether the spectra are displayed filled or as a line under options by clicking on filled spectrum. Now they're a line and now they're filled. You can erase a specific spectrum from the view by selecting it going to Spectrum, and choosing Closed Spectrum. You can also do this by pressing Control Delete. Now my Spectrum field is empty. You can older open a whole number of spectra at the same time. I'm going to press Control Open. I'm going to select one and then all of the rest of these blue glass spectra so that we can compare them all at once. Hit open. You see a lot of spectra now. This is difficult to compare this way. One of the nice things about the Artec software is, is that you can start a project that facilitates organization and comparison of spectra. To start a project, go to the project menu and select new project. This will open a project window on the left. Click on the spectrum tab and then we can add all these spectra to the project as various objects. You can do this easily by right clicking on objects and selecting add spectra. Now you'll see a plus sign next to objects, which allows you to expand the list of objects, or in this case spectra, that are present in the project. You can move and resize the area between spectra and projects by clicking on the vertical double lines and moving it back and forth.
you'll notice that when, when spectra are added, all spectra in the spectrum field are added at once, and the name becomes augmented by the date and time when the spectrum was added. Spectrum names can be edited by clicking on the name and editing the text. So for example, I can remove the, the date and timestamp and then press enter. It's a good idea to save the project. You can do so by clicking on the save project icon or going to file save project as. So I'm going to save this as our tax demo project. Say yes when it asks you to replace it. 